The general consensus in popular science is that the taller you are, the sooner you die. But does the science actually support that? In today's video, I'm going over a bunch of studies to get to the bottom of how height relates to lifespan. Hey there, I'm Mish, and I'm a full-time researcher with my PhD, and by day I conduct and publish studies of my own, and by night I share the result of other people's studies here to help you reach your weight loss, fitness, health, and nutrition goals. And today's video was actually related to research I was doing for my own purposes and my own interests, but I realized that you all might find it interesting, so I thought I'd share. In particular, because I pretty much never see this side of the story where all sorts of studies are taken into account, so hopefully you can benefit from this too. If you Google this topic yourself on how height relates to mortality and lifespan, what you'll see is that the story seems to be pretty clear, where taller people die sooner, so it's better to be shorter. It's in fact, perhaps dangerous to be tall, a lot of articles are saying. And in fact, one article goes so far as to say, the research is extremely clear that being tall is a hazard. And some of the main research findings that are used to support this idea are the finding that in a specific country, cross-country skiers tend to be shorter than basketball players and they tend to live longer. And also, the countries in Europe in the top half of height tend to have fewer people who live over 100 than European countries in the bottom half of average height. And then also height is associated with higher risks of a bunch of different kinds of cancer. And as for why, the reasons that people give is that when you're taller, you have more cells in your body and therefore you have more cells replicating and therefore you have more opportunities for some of these cells to mutate and become cancerous. And then another reason that's given is that when you're taller, you have to eat more and it's known that eating more causes more oxidative stress on average and therefore more oxidative stress, as you may remember from my aging video, is a major cause of aging processes and disease processes. So it's kind of the inverse of the calorie restriction literature where it's found that eating less and restricting your calories tends to increase longevity in rodents and is associated with increased longevity in people. So the idea is that if you're taller, you're doing the opposite of this good calorie restriction. But the weird thing about all these recent studies and all this pop science is that if you actually go and look at the research and look at all the studies on this, you'll see that back in the early 2000s, the big established fact that everyone agreed upon was actually that being taller predicted longer lifespans. So taller people actually lived longer. And in fact, a study looked at how the relationship between height and lifespan changed over time, and they found that the relationship got weaker. So back in the day, it was the case that being taller meant that you lived longer. But as we look to more and more recent, that relationship has become weaker. But why is this happening? Why would it no longer be the case that being taller is good for your lifespan? Well, I think it's related to two other trends that have been happening over the last few decades. And the first is a bad trend, which is that our diets have gotten a lot worse. But the second one, which is a positive, is that on average, countries have become more diverse. So we have more of a nice mix of different cultures and races. And the reason that I think these trends are important for height and mortality is the fact that height comes with a lot of baggage. It's determined by genetics and what you ate as a kid, and also it's strongly related to race and where you're from. And the reason I think that this is important is that we know that diets vary by culture. So for example, the Eastern diet is one of the healthiest diets out there. And just coincidentally, the people who happen to eat that diet, like Okinawans, are on average shorter. And in fact, in the US, the difference between the tallest race and the shortest race on average is three inches, if you just look at the averages in different groups. So these height differences are not negligible and they are about the size of the big effects we get in these studies of mortality and lifespan. So what happens when you start mixing up a bunch of different cultures who all have different genetic backgrounds is that you can start to create correlations that are driven by something completely unrelated to height. So for example, if we have a mix of people where the shortest people also just coincidentally eat the healthiest diet on average, then you're gonna see a relationship where shorter people live longer. But really it's just that People who happen to be short also happen to eat way healthier and therefore live longer because of their diet. And this theory is supported by studies because I found that in studies that controlled for race, they consistently found that being taller was related to longer lifespans. So for example, when just Norwegians were looked at back in the 90s and 2000s, it was consistently found that people who were taller lived longer and it's found in other homogeneous types of groups too. You pretty clearly see that people who are living longer tend to be taller on average. 
And this is not surprising because it's very, very well established that when you have better nutrition as a child, you grow taller. And when you have better nutrition as a child, you also have better health. So height itself does not have to be related to health here at all. It's just the case that when you're a kid, if you eat a good diet, you're going to coincidentally both be taller and be healthier. And my example of cultural differences in diet varying with height is just one possible example that I use largely because it's easily understandable and well supported by things we know. But another similar group of things is just anything genetic that happens to relate to both longevity and height. So for example, the FOXO3 gene has been shown to be related to longevity. So people who have a certain variant of this gene live longer. And coincidentally, the people who have the longevity version of the gene also happen to be shorter on average. But this doesn't mean that being shorter is causing you to live longer. It's just that if you have this certain genetic variant, you are also likely to have genetic variants that make you short. But it doesn't mean that being shorter is actually making you live longer. And another reason why nowadays being taller is more often related to living shorter lives might be because of how much our diet has changed, as I alluded to earlier. So nowadays, unfortunately, our diet is a lot worse. It's full of pesticides, it's full of heavy metals. And so in terms of this oxidative stress argument, it makes a lot of sense that if you are eating a really bad diet and you need to eat more of it in order to maintain a larger body, then you're gonna be getting a much heavier load of all these inflammatory compounds and all these things like pesticides and heavy metals. But I think that the positive corollary of that is that if you are tall and you eat a really healthy diet like the Okinawans, then I bet you would actually live longer because of that healthy diet. So one way to think of it is that perhaps if you are taller, then diet is going to have more of an effect on your health and lifespan because you're gonna to have to eat a lot more in order to maintain a similar sized set of organs and brain to everyone else, but you need to eat more in order to maintain the rest of your body being bigger. So it's possible that any negative compounds in your diet, like inflammatory compounds or positive components of your diet, like polyphenols and antioxidants are gonna have an amplified effect on you just because you're gonna be having to get so much more of them. So the main takeaway from this video is that your height probably has no bearing on your lifespan. And if anyone tries to tell you that they have a clear answer either way, that height is strongly related to mortality somehow, they are probably wrong because there is no good evidence for that claim right now. Rather, what's probably happening here is that genetic factors out of your control and your nutritional status as a kid are what have determined your height and what also happen to relate to lifespan. But that does not mean that you are doomed. Your nutrition throughout the rest of your life after your childhood is way more important for your lifespan and your health, and it is not too late to change it no matter how old you are. So if you are worried about your lifespan and want to live a longer and higher quality life, which I think we all do, then it's not too late to change your diet, change your lifestyle habits. For example, I mentioned a lot of dietary things you can do in this video here. And then of course, there's also stress reduction and exercise and just generally taking care of your health. I feel like the narrative that we're doomed because of something like our height or our weight genetics tends to get a lot of attention in the media and pop science. And that's why there's so many articles being like, if you have this trait, you're probably gonna die or things like that. Because I think it gets a lot of clicks, a lot of attention and our brains just naturally like to latch on to these scary negative things. But a lot of that is not true because it gets cherry picked because it drives clicks to these news websites by people who aren't in science or trained in science whatsoever. So I like to make videos to be a counter to incorrect pop science that pretty much drives all of us scientists up the wall. <laughs> so there's my little rant for the day. If you find my videos helpful to you in some way or another and want to say thanks or help support me in making more, then please head on over to my GoFundMe, which is linked above and below. And also, if you're interested in bonus content, head over to my Patreon, where we've got bonus notes, bonus clips, and the ability to weigh in on videos and whatnot. So if you're interested, check that out, also above and below. And if you like this video, please share and like it so other people can get this information and hopefully not feel doomed for no reason. <laughs> and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell to stay up to date on all this science. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.